this is a continuation of my first video this is a Toyota Corolla this is a carburetor that I'm going to strip down and show you what the problem is with this carburetor it is idling too rich and running too rich it is very very heavy on fuel and I'm going to show you on a gas analyzer where it must idle on 3% and on 3000 revs it must lean down from 1 to 2% anything under 1% is too lean anything over 2% is too rich that's your fuel consumption on 3000 revs and uh, on your idling it must be 3% anything under is too lean and anything over is too rich I'm going to show you right now let me start this vehicle actually yeah rich it is let's put the gas analyzer on there we go let's have a look at the tears here yeah. yeah as you can see it's already idling on 6%, 620, way over 3%. It's very, very rich. And I'm going to show you people how to fix this carburetor and how to service it. As you can see, it's very, very rich. Normally, you do your adjustment. The bottom of the carburetor, which is your fuel mixture screw, which is this one down here. Off your team down there, the team. Let me turn him in. And it's making no difference at all. Let's have a look at your shares on your fuel consumption. Must be from 1 to 2 percent on 3,000 revs. is running at 5.6 which is way over 2%. This vehicle is very very heavy on fuel and it also cuts off as you rev it up. You see that? Now I'm going to show you how to fix it. The Toyota Corolla, the carburetor that I showed you what was running in Eiling Rich and I'm going to, just taking it off now, I'm going to strip it for you and then I'm going to show you all the working parts that give you problems on this Toyota carburetor. This is a Toyota carburetor that I stripped, the one I took off. I can show you the condition. You can have a look inside the carburetor and see how dirty it's full of rust in there. All the working parts over here, which I'm going to explain to you later on when I'm finished servicing. We normally use a Formula Triple Pipe chemical, which is a degreaser. If you haven't got a Formula Triple Pipe degreaser, you can use paraffin or power paraffin to clean it. This is the same Toyota carburetor after a chemical clean through Formula Triple Pipe, or you can use paraffin, like I said. Um, I just want to show you the working parts over here, like I explained to you in the earlier video. Um, first of all, Let's start with the kits. You've got your top gaskets, which is for the top of here. Okay. Then you've got your intermediate gaskets, which goes on your base. Which goes there. Okay. You've got your choke gasket, which goes on there. Okay. Then you've got your preliminaries. These are the gaskets for them, which they go in. Yeah, the first stage, second stage. Then the second stage, okay, but I want to explain something that's very important, how to fix your own carburetor. What was wrong with this carburetor? Someone worked on it and had no power valve. Now, here's your new kit, which is your idling jet, 
which is your slow jet this is your power valve now how it works is when it's down it's open it works with vacuum when it goes up it closes and you've got a little jet of 0.50 that screws in there okay screws in there now what happened someone worked on a carburetor while it was running rich and Arling rich they never had the power valve which goes in there that was a problem with the carburetor and the next main problem with the carburetor when it doesn't want to idle you don't need to take the carburetor off it's an idling jet or the slow jet which goes in here you see it screws down in there now that's a 0.55 jet it's very small what normally happens to it when it doesn't want to idle it switches off at robots normally you have some dirt inside there you can clean it out then your problem is solved next thing is when it doesn't want to idle you got your electronic idling jet which goes in the side with the carburetor like it screws in it works with power <coughs> now what happens when you have no power like your fuse fuses and this electronic idling jet doesn't work then it closes the idling circuit also doesn't idle now I'm going to assemble this carburetor and put it on a vehicle and I'm going to show you the CO's on the gas analyzer. This is the same CO here. Just showing you the islands on 2.70, 2.80, must be on 3%. There we are on 3%. Your main CO's. Lead down on 3,000 red. 1 to 2%. Now this is One point two oh, that's perfect. Remember it had a flat spot, so the spray jet was locked, this thing up here, you can down it to rev it up, but now it's fine. My next video I'll show you how to do rebushing on the base and of course the how to fix the butterfly valves.